So, punishing end of days experience. Death is your only companion before fading in the long dark. For expert players looking for unique and devastating survival experience, challenge beyond interloper. You start with the most minimal. Grand. Timed intervals. You gradually succumb to permanent, unavoidable afflictions unique to misery. No feats. Um, okay. Yeah. I'm curious how that's going to work out. Let's see how this goes. Um, do that. And let's go. See how this goes. Um, I I fully expect that I'm just going to get absolutely clocked in this. Um, I haven't played Interloper in months. Um, so... Okay, this looks like Skeeter's Ridge. No? Where are we? Pleasant Valley. Great. It's like my least desired spawn. What do we have? Not much. Okay. We need shelter, I think, first. Okay, I know where we are. Um, so... I think that's draft objects. Which means we should come over this hill and be able to see the yeah, Thompson Crossings over there. In fact, let's go that way. Because those will be some good opportunities for loot um, pretty quickly. Um, I don't know what the balance of cattails is going to be in this. If they're as much a dependency as like what we would expect an interloper or not if I should be being sure to grab them I probably will um, could get frostbite on my head um, let's go on let's let's move because we can always go get cattails later Whew. sure getting cold yep I think for me personally I need to understand a little bit more about misery to know like versus interloper what are the things that I have to do differently like there was some description um, in the title screen but too cold. I'd like to know like the stats of everything as well if that would help me understand I don't know see how this goes I guess shoot for five days first run it's kind of what I'm thinking <laughs> is that too low of a <laughs> too low of a uh, goal kind of feels like that's a low goal <laughs> but, but honestly like I said I haven't played interloper even and uh, you know, probably since we last played it um, on the channel. And so this even being more complicated than that. Um, you know, haven't really been uh, in the zone, so to speak. So let's get here, hopefully find some warmer clothing, um, then kind of figure out what to do with food. Um, I doubt we're even going to be warm inside is the other thing. So hopefully we find some clothing. But yeah, cattails, like if I decide I need the cattails, I could probably just go over the hill there into the stream and find a handful to get me by. Let's go look in the washer and dryer. Really the biggest thing I need is a hat. I imagine the loot's probably been this will come in handy. turned way down as well. For this. Um, some leather. 
Nothing. So we're probably not going to find much of anything in the way of loot. We are warming up right now, however, so that's that's good. That's good to know that that's there. Okay. Right there, uh, first aid, yeah. Check this out. And then we'll go. I'll take it. Look for some clothes upstairs. Food, a little bit of food. See a book. We're still warm in here as well, so that's a good sign. We just really need a hat, um, which I guess I could. Wait, 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 wait. No, I guess okay. I thought like at first glance that they had taken, because like even on. Interloper or stalker. If I spawn over in uh, Timberwolf, I'll come down and I'll pull down curtains for cloth. And like I first looked and didn't see any, I was like, wait, did they get rid of, <laughs> rid of the cloth? Um, so that would have made things complicated because I could make the improvised head wrap. If we don't find a hat, um, just trying to avoid the cabin fever. That'll be good. Oh, we don't have gloves either. I thought we had gloves. For some reason, when I first looked, I thought we had gloves. We don't. Okay, well then we might need improvised gloves and hat. We're finding a good amount of food though, so that's cool. What kind of speed looting, but it's okay. just go ahead and preemptively make the improvised stuff because we're not really seeming to find anything here. I need a, just a workbench to do that. Oh, I need a sewing kit? Didn't think you needed a sewing kit to do it. That changes things. I thought you just made them with your bare hands. Did we search all these little things where that might spawn? I think we did. in here to search. We did the backpack. Oh, I haven't done that. Okay, well that's not good. I guess, I don't think we did these, did we? Okay, we might find a sewing kit in here. Looks like this has been here a while. I don't know, it could be interesting. Best be prepared for anything. Okay, we'll grab the water. Um, and then I guess we search the kitchen. Uh, if we, yeah, we didn't find that. That's gonna make life a little difficult. Um, 
we're only at 3%, and if, since we're warming up, it should go away. Um, so I think what we do is we probably head towards Thompson Crossing um, and, and try to find some stuff there since we didn't really hear. Just grab that pot. I think also getting out of this region would be good pretty quickly here. Um. Hmm. Okay, I'm just thinking, is there anything else in here we didn't search? There's the little green container outside over there. There is the car in the front. We can search. So let's let's hit this container and see. Oh, the container's not even there, so <laughs> never mind. All right, let's. It's the bears right there. What is wildlife like in misery? Um, is it like stalker wildlife? In the back, nothing. Can't get in the trunk. Okay, let's go towards Thompson. We'll stop at the barn. I can't feel my feet. And um, if we can grab some cattails down here, we'll do that too. And then I think let's like let's do this quickly. Maybe finish searching Thompson's Crossing um, today, and then. Maybe we spend the oh, night here so cold. in Pleasant Valley, and then tomorrow, first thing, we get out of here. We go for probably Mystery Lake. I think that's kind of my plan of attack at the moment. Oh, we should have plenty of food. I don't think I need to stop and, like, desperately look for cattails. We can warm up for a few minutes in the barn. That'll help. And then we'll head for Thompson Crossing. Frostbite risk. Is that a second? Yep. Okay, so hopefully we can kill that off uh, when we're in the barn. Probably a long ways away from needing this. Painkillers. I can feel myself just like trying to do everything faster because I know that. This is difficult. <laughs> I know that this is stacked against me, so I'm like speedy Gonzalesing trying to find the things I know I need. Hopefully the bar the barn is warm. We'll see. Steer clear. He's kind of in that embankment. Which is a bummer because I can't tell if he turned left or right. I'm going to assume he turned left. Deer. She is panting good. I doubt the arrows are going to spawn on the target, but we'll check it. I just want to get inside, because of him especially. Okay. Another soda. 26 pounds. We are not warming up in here. So that's something we need to pay attention to. What happens in here? Okay, we are warming up in here. Ooh, this little, this is actually a huge this find. Um, that might help us if we find ourselves in a really bad situation. Can I pass a little bit of time just to warm up? We've accrued no permanent damage yet, so that's good. 
No frostbite or anything. Wait. <laughs> I'm so cold. I'm no sewing kit yet. Warming no. up a bit. No, no, no gloves or anything. Okay, so let's keep moving. Let's push for... Uh, or do we jump back in the truck for a few minutes? I think we jump in the truck for a few minutes and then make a push for the, the uh, community center area. Sounds like there's a blizzard out there too. This is really unfortunate for us because I don't think we can stand to sit still. Like, I don't think we'll. Don't think that's a good plan at this point. Plus, that's gonna be way warmer than being here because we're we're only just out of the temperature window. Do this. Let's jump out and hit the road. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But I don't think that we can afford to wait, so let's so move. Cold. I just want to lay down for a and minute. just like cross our fingers and go in the right way. <laughs> I think so. I'm pretty confident. This road should take us right to it. are during, uh, in misery, I mean. Okay, I'm getting a little worried that I've missed, but I feel like we're still on the road, so as long as we just follow the road, I think it's just my nerves telling me I'm going on. We ought to see this place pretty quickly. We shouldn't be seeing trees right now. I must have gone the wrong way. Well, I don't know. Here's power lines. I'll go this way. I need to lie down for a bit. You're in the middle of a blizzard. Thompson's crossing. No, I was on our on that track. Yeah. Okay. We're we're good. We're good. I was just confused, honestly. That's what a blizzard will do, right? Okay. Um, Alright, well, hopefully we find a few more of the supplies we're going to need in here. We're not warming up in here either. That'll help. Feels like 20 minutes. Let's maybe hit the bed for a little bit of time here and get some... Warming up done. Oh, that made it nighttime though. Uh, and I've lost the bed. 
And I don't have a light source. There it is. Okay, I think we just need to go to bed because I can't see anything anyway. Um, so let's eat something here. Get some calories. Drink the water. Go to bed. Let's do 10 hours. Hopefully get some good condition back. We'll wake up warm. Not to one day yet. <laughs> I don't want to go down without surviving one full day. Minimum. Otherwise, that's going to look uh, look a little bad for <laughs> for us. Nineteen hours. Okay. Uh, still not light out though. I need the sun to come up. Okay. Uh, all right. Like I said. We need to find food. Uh, we're okay. We're okay. We can go hungry for a little bit. I need a sewing kit or a pair of hat and a pair of gloves. Or a pair of hat. A hat and a pair of gloves. And I'm not finding it. We searched this, right? Yep. Um, okay, let's go back here. Opportunity to make that, but we got it. Nothing. Did I get the water yet? I don't think so. We need to be sure to do that. That's what's going to kind of keep us moving for until we're in a position where we can make our own. Hopefully, there's another pot um, in the kitchen over there. That would be huge to have a second pot. Sounds like maybe another blizzard. God, I could eat a horse. I'm not quite sure I understood. Um, I wish there was more description of the, like when you will get the afflictions. Is it just random? Is it like if your condition hits a certain point? Um, I need to, I, and I really probably should have done it before we start started, because I need to, uh, read up on what the specific challenges are for misery. This will come in handy. Hmm. thinking i mean we take it obviously it's just time when i want to maybe cook it i also saw on that that it had the calcium indicator on it which means that scurvy's a risk which uh i kind of despise scurvy in this game so i'm a little bummed by that but we'll manage it we'll do what we can to overcome all right, well, I think that's it for this building. Um, let's go take a peek at some of the other buildings in town. Okay. Um, let's go over there. Usually, a lot of times I find gloves like in, in that little shopping area or market area. We'll check that out here in just a second. Piece of wood. I don't have any... I don't have a means of starting fire yet either. So it doesn't really matter about that fish because we can't cook it anyway. Uh, I mean, we'll carry it, but I was acting like I was going to be able to eat it soon, which I can't unless we find matches. Which maybe the gas station across the road. We'll check that out. I kind of feel like there's probably a good chance that there's matches there. Just logically. 
so we'll see what we can get into. Nada. Well, this stuff will come in handy. So better than... Come on, give me something good. Let me check. Do you need the... Yeah, you need a sewing kit for both those two things. That's unfortunate. There's a sewing kit or fishing tackle, which we found neither so far. Um, so that's, that's cool. We're going to have a ton of water, which is fine. Um, especially to start. How much water are we at? A gallon and a half. Alright, so I think we searched this whole house. Hit the bridge, right? Yep. Okay, let's go into the next. Hopefully we have a little more luck. Check over here. Maybe like just a stalker or lower uh, level or lower uh, difficulty thing, but I feel like sometimes there's gloves hanging around out here. Which, yeah, I don't see any, so that's my answer. <laughs> Anything in the back. Shoot, even like the, the driving gloves would keep us from getting frostbite. <laughs> Beef jerky. Jerky. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well, what do we want to do from here? I am so hungry. Oh, I, need, I need to go hit the gas station. Let's go do that. That's probably our best opportunity do to I, get. If I don't, we'll um, up soon. Oh, I got frostbite. Shoot. It's a goddamn freezing. That's a bummer. I just wasn't paying close enough attention to it, to be perfectly honest. So well, that's cool. <laughs> Day two, frostbite. Yeah, I just wasn't paying close enough attention. I figured that it went away in the night, but obviously it must have uh, not. <laughs> I wish next to, uh, like in here when you're looking at this, I wish it would give you like an up or down um, to tell you which way your condition is moving for like frostbite or scurvy or is it actively going down or is it still continuing to go upward? Like that would be helpful to know, you know, how to adjust. Um, okay, we got an oh there was a sewing kit. I saw it on the corner of my eye. Okay, perfect. That means we can make our gloves and hat right after I got frostbite. So let's do that immediately. 37 minutes. Let's get those on. Go back for the hat. That'll help us a bit. We are super cold. I just realized we probably shouldn't have been doing this here. Problem is we're really not warm anywhere. Um, okay, no matches. There's some oatmeal. I guess we grab it. See the potato too. I don't really know how to incorporate that stuff into my game, honestly. The oatmeal is a little bit easier, but like the potatoes, carrots, carrot. Obviously, I could eat raw, but the potatoes, I don't know about. I'm too cold to think. Yeah, what I'm about to do really isn't a great plan, but we're gonna do it. Diminished form. Okay. Stage one hardship. Interesting. Okay. This is all new to me. 
You have less stamina and your carrying capacity is reduced. Wolves are less likely to flee during a struggle. Okay, so they basically are going to target you. Like, not target you, but they know that you're the, the weakling. So, did that happen for a reason? Or is it is it truly just like, periodically that's going to happen? That's my question. Um, where did it go? Diminished form. How much less is my stamina? Pretty, pretty much, like, a pretty good amount less. Wait one more hour, warm up a little more, and then let's get on our way. Where do I want to go? And where can I go, realistically? I'd like to get up to, um, the radio tower and, like, the exit to, um, Mystery Lake tonight. I don't have a bed roll, which, what's this? Where did I get matches? Did I always have matches? Did I just like totally not pay attention to getting those? Huh. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, let's take our matches and, um, yeah, if we could just a little bit more time here, drink some water and then, yeah, let's try to get up to the radio tower. That might be a stretch. Tried to hopefully, I was hoping it would be a little cooler because it was later in the day, but still pretty cold. I mean, granted, you know, we're really not wearing anything at all, so I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. Diminished form, eh? gonna go ahead and skip it keep moving keep on rolling It is kind of crazy how little supplies we found. I mean, we found a good amount of food, I guess. That's true. But otherwise, we like didn't find much anything. But that's right. I'll we'll make it work. I am curious. Did I get the first stage? Like because I was starving? Like did I get it? as a outcome of something I did. I'm, that's what I want to know the answer to. Or is it just like, it's gonna happen numb. automatically, regardless of what you do, how you play. Oh boy. Starting in Pleasant Valley also kind of sucks because you have such a long, you have a ton of ground to cover. You're not close to. Oh, so cold. If you leave one building, you have a lot of ground to cover to get to the next, basically. Which kind of sucks, but that's what it is. It's negative nine. <laughs> Anything? I really shouldn't be wasting the time doing this. Nope. Okay. Keep on moving. the moment I'm kind of feeling like our five day estimate is not going to be uh, too far off. Um, pretty rough right now. We'll play it out. I just don't know how much uh, we're going to be able to manage this situation. I think Pleasant Valley is a tough place to start. You have a lot of opportunity for like the food and the water and stuff that I got early on, but um, other than that, like we're so far from anything that we just spend a lot of time outdoors taking damage from being cold. 
Anyway. Could go check that, but I don't want to. I don't want to spend the time being cold. Check the little shack over there. I think I'm just gonna keep moving. I'm gonna just keep on the current plan. Um, okay, I mean, we'll take it, but I think it's gonna be pretty inconsequential. Give me a coat. Nope. Still negative nine. I feel like this should be the warmest part of the day and it's not any warmer than it's been. So I want to get up to that tower. That's really where I'm headed. I think we'll make it. Maybe we try to crash there for the night. I don't know. Okay, so I think we get to the radio tower. I think we probably just jump into bed and warm up. Um, and then, I mean, I imagine by that time, like, we've gotten that done. It's probably going to be dark, and so we might as well just crash for the night. Um, assuming we're not going to find a lantern, I think we make a torch while we're over there. Try to, anyway. Uh, maybe we cook that fish and eat it. Um, this should give us a little bit of oil, right? Maybe we can make a torch from that. That smarts a bit. Um, need some first aid and then soon. sleep through the night, and then we'll go on to the cave to get to Mystery Lake in the morning. That's kind of what my game plan is. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll be on better footing if we get into Mystery Lake. Um, get some cattails from Winding River on our way through. We'll have some food. Um, yeah, and just kind of keep scraping by. It's really all I think we're going to be able to do in this, this game mode, so. It's fun. I, I mean, I don't know if it's fun. It's it's definitely something. <laughs> um, I'll rest soon. I'm going to faint. I don't know. Like I said, between, but I guess between now and when I, uh, when, when whenever we play again, um, I will read up on Misery a little bit and see, like, what, what different kind of things we need to take into account with Misery, because that's what I don't really know. Um, is like when we get to Mystery Lake, can I just like start treating it as interloper? You know what I mean? Um, obviously, you've got these conditions or these afflictions that come in, but like still, you know, can I treat it like interloper at that point, or is it still still other things I should think through? You know, while I'm playing, so I think that's what I'll do. Um, so let's get inside here and um, get warm. <sighs> A bit, but See I'll what kind it. of loot we can find and go from there. Okay, we are warming up too in here, so that's good. It's always a question. Is it going to be a warm enough building? Fuse, battery, see a flare over there. That flare is actually huge because that'll give us something to get through the cave with. Give me a coat, give me a coat, give me a coat. I think uh, I can use this. Ooh, okay. Not a coat, but we'll take it. It's nice to get some unlocked lockers too. It's locked, but it's okay. Another sewing kit, that's big. Uh, okay, let's search here. And then I'm hoping there'll be like a coat or a heavy pair of pants um, in there by the bunk beds. But we'll see. Probably me doubts it. 
just because of the difficulty. Okay. Hit this. That smarts a bit. Some food. It's always welcome. This will be huge eventually. This will come. It'll save us if we're in a tough spot with our condition. Anything in there? Nope. I don't see any clothing over here, which is a bummer. Oh, some combat boots. Um, I mean, oh, they're actually colder than the leather boots. That's interesting. Okay, we'll have to figure out what to do there. I'll okay, take it. there we go. That's nice to have. I feel like that helps us a ton. That does do. Um, so we're finding some good loot. I think we found more consequential loot in this uh, radio tower than we did the whole farmstead or Thompson's Crossing. It's just kind of funny. Um. Okay, I think that's everything in here, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, guys, it has been been streaming now for about two and a half hours. Um, I'll probably call it there. Um, that's a long time for me, <laughs> me honestly, um, to sit down in one place honestly for for that long. So um, we'll call it here. We'll uh, pick up again next time. I'll, I'll keep this run going. Um, so far, it's pretty fun. Um, I mean, I'll be curious again to see how much more challenging than interloper it ends up being um you know once we kind of get into mystery lake and now that we've gotten some clothes and some matches and things like that we can really kind of just like start hopefully rolling but we'll see um and then well obviously the the whole plan for the the stalker run into the tails and things like that we'll we'll keep going i'll probably go ahead and finish cooking up all that meat we've got on hand so we don't have to spend another episode just kind of grinding out our cooking level um so hopefully we'll be ready to kind of like start working on uh, some of our tales and stuff um, and other tasks in that run um, pretty pretty quickly here. So um, if you checked out the stream today or you're catching the VOD of this, I do appreciate you all tuning in, checking it out. Um, still pretty new to the streaming thing. There's still some things I want to kind of like do with the stream to kind of increase the quality, um, hopefully make things a little smoother, that type of thing. Um, so yeah, if you've got any feedback for me, of course, like I said before, um, feel free to share it. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I hope everyone has a good rest of your day and I'll, uh, I'll catch you next time. Thanks guys.